What's going on guys, Jimmy God here, and today I'm going to be showing you the Jimmy Animated Da Bomb Turtle Dancers. Now this is the variant where the battery compartment is on the back of the shell, not underneath the feet, like most common variants of the Turtle Dancers are. And from what I've heard, these types of variants where the battery compartment's on the shell are much more rare and uncommon to find than the ones where the battery compartment's on the feet. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's just what I've heard looking around through comments and such while updating my research on these turtle dancers. Now of course my approach to accessing the module is no different than it was before, just cut the seam along the back of the head and cut around the half of the shell. However, I had to make sure this time around I had to leave at least one inch of fabric untouched between the cut and the velcro strap as to not completely ruin the shell. But then again, maybe it wouldn't have mattered if I uh, cut the whole shell off because I could just easily put it back on. Maybe, I don't know. But anyway, the approach to replacing the gear on this one was a little bit different because the circuit board was actually on the, was on the module, like on the side of the module, not on the back, of course. It was a bit smaller and it kind of got in the way of, of the gearbox, so, uh, and let me just say for the record, getting the gear on the shaft on this one was a big pain in the ass because, like, so much so that I, th I think I slightly bent the shaft and, uh, it was having a hard time moving, I'm not going to lie, so I did the little method where I cracked open the gearbox and uh, I had to make sure it wasn't too loose nor too tight. It had to be just right. And I eventually got it, thank goodness. <laughs> and then after that, I just pretty much went in reverse. Oh, and also, there's a zip tie that straps around the battery compartment to hold the character in place, and I presume the cloth that is contained within the shell around the battery compartment, and it on the inside, of course... So I had to get a new zip tie for that too, and uh, here it sits. And if you think I didn't have to take out the feet and undo the uh, fabric from there, you'd be wrong. You pretty much have to do that for pretty much every time you work on one of these characters. Whether it's the Turtle Dancers, Funky Monkeys, Christmas Cheerleaders. Um, Grave Ravers are the exception because they don't, they don't have the fabric on the feet. Even though they have the same module as these guys, or the ones from 2005 to 2012 did, uh, the only thing you have to do is unscrew the base, so it saves you a lot of hassle. But, uh, yeah, I managed to get this guy fully working. Um, it wasn't that big of a deal. And the side-to-side -side mechanism structure on this type of variant with this kind of module is actually, uh, despite it moving the same, it's actually in one of the legs. No, seriously, the side-to-side -side mechanism is in one of the legs and seems to be in a tiny cramped square space that contains just a couple gears. So, should that ever break down, I don't know how bad it's going to be when it when the time comes to replace the gear in that variant of the mechanism, but I probably am expecting it to be hell. Just saying. But the gears were fine in that part of the mechanism, so I didn't have to fiddle with that, thank goodness. So, yeah. This guy dances and plays you Dropped a Bomb on Me by the Gap Band. Probably one of the most famous songs from the 80s, since a lot of people seem to like it. So, yeah. So, yeah. Let's see this guy in action. Alright, let's take a look at the box. It says Turtle Dancers, I sing a dance to drop the bomb on me, Lean Mean Dancing Machines. Dances to the Boogity Beat requires three AA batteries. Description 2006, Jimmy Industries Corporation. This is item number 32684. Or is it 26? Six? Yeah, 684. Other side. Now, I'm guessing this variant of the module was what came first, and then uh, the battery compartment feet versions were made later on. But that's just my theory. Who knows? But uh, let's take a look at the uh, overall details on the character, shall we? Now, when it comes to uh, being hip with the 80s-like crowd, this guy is just as 80s as you can get. I mean, the shades... Well, they're not really shades, but the necklace, the shirt, the song choice... There's no way to lie about this. There's no way around it. Here's the other side. The back with the shell. And as you can see, 
and I used a white thread this time around, so uh, it's not as obvious, but you can kind of see it here and there in some spots. So it's an improvement. And here, let me show you the battery compartments on the shell. Hang on one sec while I open this up. And the battery compartment door is upside down, and it is black. There, it says Jemmy Industries, made in China. Let me seal this back up. And then here's what the underside, hang on one sec. And then, here's what the underside looks like. Yeah, it's just got little hooks to... Um, put the straps over so this guy can remain secure in the box when he's played with. The other side. And before you guys tell me, yes, I'm fully aware that there's an identical version of this guy with a Funky Town Turtle module that plays Funky Town. So you don't need to tell me. I am fully aware of that variant's existence. And, uh, yeah, that is definitely a rare turtle dancer. I'm not gonna lie. So if you're looking for... The variant that looks like this, that uh, plays Funky Town, best of luck to you, because I never saw that variant appear on eBay pretty much ever. The only indication of, of this item's existence was a few videos of it on YouTube, but that's about it. So I'm guessing that variant was sold at pretty much one particular store, and that's about it. And uh, speaking of Uncommon Turtle Dancers, um, I remember seeing um, there was a Turtle Dancers checklist that actually said that they made a Numa Numa one that apparently was released. But I have no idea where that one was sold, if that's true, because uh, all I know is that that... All I can... All I know is that they did make a Numa Numa Turtle Dancer, and it... They're saying it was released, but I have not seen one surface, aside from a stock photo that, um, Frogsmaster recently, um, unearthed, so... Kudos to him for, uh... Help, helping me back up my proof are when I say that Jemmy did, in fact, make a Numa Numa Turtle Dancer. Yeah. And a few other Turtle Dancers that presumably were released, just never heard of, but I doubt they were released. But anyways, back to this guy. Show him in action a couple more times. And there you go, guys. That's the Jimmy Animated Da Bomb Turtle Dancer. Thanks for watching.